Welcome back to EA Sports. We're in Long Island, the home of the Islanders, perhaps the most underrated dynasty in history. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Islanders win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Quick feed to Marcel. The Hurricanes play it along the boards. New York's got possession of the puck. That knocks them off the puck. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. Here's the chance in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Now a quick pass to Nelson. And he slides it quickly to Barzell. And now it's grabbed by Nelson. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. New York's got a hold of the puck now. Carolina's got the puck. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Flips it up to that. Denies him with the pad. Picked up along the wall by Barzell. New York's got the puck against the boards. Tremendous save by Kuchnikov. Carolina's in on the offensive attack now. Along the half wall with the puck. Keep it out. What a blocker stop by Sorokin. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. He's got a step. Stop. What a save there. Uh, I thought he could have shot the puck, James, but he elects to deke. And when he deeks, he just isn't able to outweigh the tender who's able to make the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Here's a change. The Islanders come up with the defensive zone draw. Poked away at center by Pesci. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Broken up by Romanov. Inside his own end moves the puck. And he takes the feed. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Moves it to Engvall. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Pesci. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Shays loving the puck. Carolina's moving it up the ice. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. McLean's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. They win the faceoff here in the road end and take possession. Across the line from center. With possession along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Riley. Hammers one. And that goes off a player in front. Taken by Pesci. Moves it quickly over to Shea. And that's intercepted. Sent in deep and the forwards will go to the bench. The Hurricanes moving ahead. Can't keep a hold of it. New York's got the puck against the boards. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. The Islanders win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Puck picked up by Natchez. Tries to get it to Chatfield. New York's got it in the neutral zone. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Massive collision in the open ice. 
in order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Sends the feet in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The Hurricanes win the draw here in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. And he takes the feed. To his teammate! Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Slavin's a solid defender when he's the last man back in those one-on-one -on -one situations, guys. That's his shutdown zone ability, and he can really calm down those scary moments for his squad. Quick pass to Marcel. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Gets in front of it. And that puck leaves the zone. Takes a bump but hangs on. And now he moves it quickly to Tara Vinen. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Hurricanes will play it from the defensive zone. To the front! Stop! Andrei Svechnikov doing what he does best. Well, this is quick strike hockey, moving the puck quickly and hard here, James. The play is right on the money, but it's the stretch pass, getting in behind the coverage with good timing, skating on the puck, and then finishing it off. Carolina's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. Here they already lead in this one, and they've been dictating the pace of play also. Well, they get the game's first goal midway through the period, James, but I liked their game right from puck drop. I mean, the way that they started, the urgency around the puck, they pounded it, they had a heavy forecheck, and now they get rewarded for their efforts. the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And now it's over to Jarvis. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Here we go, pucks in deep. Shea's got the puck in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Jarvis. Taken along the wall by Pesci. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Islanders gain control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Holmstrom. Poked away in the offensive zone by Sisikas. Tries to the crease. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Hurricanes pick up steam and are on the attack. Dumps it into the O-zone. Slides it quickly to Fast. Puck grab by Kotkaniemi. Quick feed to Martinik. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. New York's got the puck along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that scores! There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find it, and guess what, it's in the back of the cage. The Islanders are up by one after that strike here in the second half of this first period. Well, they're in good shape here right now, James, because they've started it strong, they've competed for every puck, and now they find themselves with the lead. Now it's about holding it, being consistent, and finding a way to reach for more. The Hurricanes play it along the wing. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. 
Grabbed along the board by Palmieri. Puck scooped up by Peugeot. Gaining momentum up along the side. The Islanders take it from the side. Quick pass to Svechnikov. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it to Foss. Oh, it cuts up with nothing on the play. Nice zone entry from the left. Puts it on net. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Oh, the outside of the frame. New York's players on the bench are shaking their head. They can't believe that didn't go in. They thought they had extended the cushion to their lead, but unfortunately it hits the post and out. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Moves it quickly over to Nelson. Coughs up possession of the puck. Scooped up along the wall. Oh, save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. And he hangs on to the puck. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Carolina's got the puck. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Moves it around along the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Islanders have put a lot of pucks on net here in the first, and they continue to lead. The Hurricanes take possession off the faceoff. Puck picked up in the open ice. New York's gained possession along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Pulak. Puck dumped in. Battle along the wall. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Pesci. And he slides it quickly to Punty. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Carolina's got control of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Jarvis looks around. Now a quick pass to Pesci. Moves the puck. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Ajo's a great playmaker. He's got that third eye zone ability, which means he reads the ice so well and finds his teammates with great passing plays. Carolina's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Taken by Orlov. Quick pass to Stahl. Oh, a quick little pick pocket on the play. And a strong effort on that play. The Hurricanes gain possession. Engvall stick handling in his own zone. Picked up along the boards by Pulak. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. And it's a quick pass to Sezikis. They go on the attack through center. Takes a shot. Oh, he keeps it out of the net as it goes off the glove. Can't get a hold of that pass. And they're going to go off for a line change after sending the puck in. The Islanders move the puck in the defensive zone. Fires it on net, and he gets just enough to keep it out. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Getting into the later stages of this period, New York's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Pacho's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer. Now they find themselves shorthanded. New York's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Quick feed to Thompson. Slides the puck over. Rips it. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. 
I always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable as we look at this last save. This looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Barzell's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. From the point, looks to make something happen. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Kuchita. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Horvat's battling for position in front of the net, creating a screen. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Paul Mary. New York's got him along the wall. Oh, what a save by Kuchetkov! Can't pull the trigger. Gains the zone along the right wall. Oh, just a textbook hit. Looks to pass it to Horvat. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Hey fans, we have a car on the east lot with its lights on. FSV 4494. If you don't know your license plate, it's a blue sedan. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. The Hurricanes open the frame shorthanded. There's still a few seconds left on this penalty that they need to kill off, and they've got possession. Nelson's now out of the box, and we are back to even strength. Well, that's just a great sequence of events with that power play unit, the way they were moving the puck, the execution with their passes, and the scoring chances that they did get. Hey, sometimes it doesn't go in, but if they continue that, you've got to figure their numbers are going to go up. New York's got him along the wall. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Nelson. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. New York's been firing on all cylinders here early in this second period, and they continue to lead this one. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Big time stop! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Islanders lead at 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. New York's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. The Hurricanes take it along the wall. Pass across to Nelson. Here's a short pass to Dobson. Handles the puck. Blocker saved by Kuchetkov. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Wicked blast! And a strong defensive effort to get in front of that. And this squad has really put the pressure on now. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Pulak's taking it from his own end. They've got numbers here. Denied by the goaltender. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Hurricanes have it now. New York's got the puck here in the open ice. Take it along the wall by Lee. Slavin's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. New York's looking to break out. Moves it to Paul Mary. Great reach with the puck check. Carolina's in now. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Makes it look easy with the stop. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lee. New York's got the puck against the half wall. And now it's grabbed by Lee. Puts it on net, and that's blocked. Carolina's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the field all alone! Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. 
Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. The Islanders send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Off the face off, they take the puck. And they get the puck out. And it's kicked away. Sends a pass over. Flushes the leather. What a save by Kuchetkov. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand. And man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Ajo's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win the draw on their own end. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Tosses it on to Horvath. Moves it quickly over to Marcel. Turned that one aside. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Barzell's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Islanders will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stop that one. Denies him again. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Quick pass to Paul Mary. Pinned up along the boards. New York's got the puck inside the defensive zone. For the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Here's a chance! Scores! And they put the power in power play. I love the way they were able to execute on this on-man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have. And then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. New York's now up by two here in the second, and, you know, Cheryl, I really like their game tonight. Yeah, they've been fast in all three zones, and they've been skiing downhill in the offensive zone. That means they're attacking the net, and they're getting the majority of the shots, and they've been rewarded, James. Skiing and skating, what a magic combination. <laughs> oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Natchez has such great hands and great vision, and he gets in tight, trying to create some space with those magic mitts, but he's unable to pull it off. Here's a chance! Here's a shot! And he catches that one with the glove. New York's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. The Islanders win the faceoff. Snaps here on the slot! And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. Here's a chance! Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Holmstrom's carrying it ahead. Reaches out and uses the stick. Here he is on a breakaway! Oh, the bars on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Islanders now lead by two. Well, that's one way to take possession with both centers tied up there on that scrum. Paul Mary's got it along the wing. Takes a shot, and that carries off a body in traffic. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Whacks it into the offensive zone. Bank pass off the boards. Quick feed to pull up. And he slides it quickly to Pacho. Shot! Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Tries to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Trying a nifty move and you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Grabs control of it at the point. What a chance, but can't finish. Well, you got to make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. And a solid stop on the play there. New York's got it across the line. Here's a short pass to Stahl. The Islanders take possession in the neutral zone. 
The Hurricanes have it from their own end. Handles the pass. Moves it to Burns. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. from start to finish as he executes with some great speed to break away from the pack and then it's all about the execution when you're one-on-one -on -one with a goaltender you bring yourself back to your practice days and you use your move the islanders are firing on all cylinders tonight look at the scoreboard now and there's no end in sight we're only here late in the second well i mean it's been a wave of energy just shift after shift and no matter who goes out there they find a way to cash in get it done maintain possession this is a team that you said it they're firing on all cylinders james this is going to be an absolute blowout and the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team new york's offense came to play in a big way and they lead big time here in the second Won the face off here in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Carolina's going to start with the puck in their own end. Good shot, frees the puck up. Slick feed. And he slides it quickly to Horvat. And that's a smart heads-up play by Orlov. The Hurricanes carry it along the wall. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. They are really dialed in here tonight. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Now a quick pass to Orlov. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Natchez. Feeds the puck to Lee. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Here's a shot, and that's broken up. Pass to Bunting. Puck picked up by Paul Mary. Turns it away. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that club save. The Islanders continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Pachos won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Slides the puck across to Bunting. Picks up the puck. Scores! And look at this! Suddenly, they're right back into it! I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity, and it gets them within two. And this two-goal deficit, it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game. And if they can get one more, you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift. The Hurricanes finally get one back. Now can they get a few more? Well, uh, you certainly know that you can get back in a game. Only a two-goal deficit, and sometimes it doesn't take long when you're on your toes and you're playing with urgency. And that's intercepted by Lee. New York's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks. They've had great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. And it's a quick pass to Jarvis. And now he moves it to Martinick. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Sasikis. Shot! Great chance and an even... He scores! One times that into the back of the net! Well, the shooter shows good patience on this shot, Jane, just waiting for the goaltender to drop. Once he does and he drops into that butterfly position, there's enough for him up to be able to beat him. New 
what he's probably thinking right now. Let's just skip the intermission and keep playing the way things are going here, Cheryl. 100%, James. Anytime you have a healthy lead, everyone's playing well and contributing. You don't want it to stop. You don't want to go and sit and wait to come back on the ice. Stalls won the draw at center. Martinick's going to play it against the half wall. Takes the feed from the wing. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. And he takes the pass. Let's get the call. The Islanders are getting two minutes for elbowing. takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Gets it out of his own end. Grabbed along the board by Svechnikov. The Islanders take possession here in the open ice. Pulak's got it on the offensive end. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Gains the zone through center. Quick pass to Clutterbuck. The Hurricanes have it now. Drury's got it in the defensive end. The Hurricanes play it along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Svechnikov. Hammers a shot! Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Svechnikov's really laboring as he leaves the game, James. He's going to make his way down the tunnel with some assistance from the medical staff here because he cannot put any weight on that one leg. Big part of this team, and obviously they are going to have to do without him for the next indefinite period until we get a medical update here. And a successful clearing attempt. Shays moving the puck through his own zone. And that's hooked away. Quick feed to Ajo. Easy, great job there. New York's got it in their own zone. Penalty coming up here. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four on four on the ice. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. The Islanders with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Kakaniemi's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Saucer pass across. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Stalls gliding in for the face off as this penalty kill will continue. Carolina's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Islanders have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Marcel. Great glove save by Kuchetkov! I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. The Islanders win the draw. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And less than a minute to go here in the middle frame. Picking up some steam at center ice. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Kakaniemi swooping in on the attack. And he shuts the door on that. Oh, and he can't bury that one. Uh, you don't get many opportunities like this in a game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. 
tries to feed it over to Horvath. And that's a great heads up play by Bunting. Inside the offensive and now down the left. Back to the point it goes. And they continue to apply pressure here. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Are you ready for your walk down memory lane? Spetsnikov's earlier injury is going to keep him out of the game, James. We just received confirmation from the staff, and this isn't good. Not good at all. Uh, huge blow for the team. And, and somebody who's just so well-liked, too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. Answered the call on that play. Here's a shot, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. And that's knocked away. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Shot! Great save on the play! Gets the return feed! Oh, there's a hit. Tremendous magical passing performance here. There's a collision. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Shot makes a save with the glove. Moves it to Marcel. Oh, what a save with the glove by Kachinkov! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. New York's on total cruise control early in this third period. Ajo's quick stick off the draw wins possession. And he slides it quickly to Tara Vinen. On the attack along the boards. Centering pass. And that goes off a stick. Gets it over to Marcel. Trying to get back on the attack now. Scrum along the wall. Carolina's got it in their own zone. The Hurricanes take it across the blue line. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Takes a slap shot from the point. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. New York's have been on a roll offensively tonight, and they need it here early in this third period. Sasekis wins the faceoff at his own end. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. New York's got a hold of the puck. Look out, they can create some trouble here. Extra attackers on the ice with the delayed penalty looming. Musa quickly over to Engvall. Here's a shot! Tremendous stop by Kuchetkov! Here comes the official's decision. Now you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take the penalty because you're chasing the game and you want to get back into a hit, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Drury's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. New York's won the draw. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Sends the pass over. Jarvis plays it against the boards. Here's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Here he is, wrists it on net. And the puck dies with the trapper save. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. And they win the draw here in their own end. New York's in transition. Quick pass to Pacho. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Kicks it away with ease. From center, they get into the attacking area. New York's got the puck along the boards. The Islanders will play it in their own end. Quick feed to Lee. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Well, this is a tough miss, James. I think he might have
might have rushed it or even panicked a little bit. Typically, he's going to put this shot on target, but instead, he misses. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Kuchetov! What an opportunity here on the power play with this offensive zone draw. It's all about motion and puck movement. Make the goaltender's already fatigued move. Carolina's got a hold of the puck. Great reach. Puts it off the outside of the frame. Here's a shot. No room for that one to get through. Stahl standing up, ready to go. They put the puck into the offensive end. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they want it. I saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Here's a short pass to Paul Mary. Horvath's lugging the puck. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Comes up with a monster save in front. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Islanders' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Carolina's got the win off that draw. And he slides it quickly to Tara Vinen. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Here's a shot. Goalie with a stop. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Islanders lead at 5-2. Horvath's won the faceoff. Receives the pass. And he takes the dish. Along the half wall with the puck. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. is such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one and he gets lost in it. Here's a chance. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. New York's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Islanders come up with the defensive zone draw. Takes the pass. The Islanders looking against the half wall. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Faust. Fires it. Stops that one. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Quick pass over to Natchez. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Slides it across to Natchez. Moves it to Nosen. Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Moves it quickly over to Holmstrom. Puck battle along the boards. Quick pass to Bunting. Takes the feed. And now he angles it across to Paul Mary. Goaltender spent so much time tracking pucks, anticipating plays, and knowing exactly where they are in the net. And he thought he had this covered, but unfortunately, he was beat just inside the post. New York's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. With possession along the wall. Puts it on the Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. New York showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Pacho has won it off the face off. Pulak's got the puck in his own zone. Lee's got it against the boards. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Jarvis moves it ahead. 
Stalls looking to make something happen here in the corner. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Romanov. Passes over to Pajo. Into the offensive end now. Puck grabbed by Palmieri. Good stand-up hit on the play. The Hurricanes cross the line and gain the zone. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. What a save from point-blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. The Islanders have been relentless in the offensive zone tonight, and they continue to lead in the third. New York's won the face-off deep in their own end. Quick feed to Horvat. Skates across the blue line. Here's a pass in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! A real great job by the net front player here. Looking back, seeing where the eyes of the goaltender are and moving accordingly. But if you're the goaltender, you gotta out battle the net front player. You gotta find a way to bob and weave and to stop that puck. The Islanders probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop. And they've been consistent throughout the game. And consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Romanov stick handling in his own zone. The Islanders play it along the wing. Thompson with the glove, great reflexes there. The Islanders don't want to take their foot off the gas here in the third period, but they have a lot of padding with the lead that they've built. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Picked up along the wall by Tara Vinen. Gains the zone on the left wing. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Cut scooped up by Shea. Yeah, the officials caught that hack. Here comes the sentence. When you lose position on your opponent and you're fighting for that puck, instead of coming un under the stick for the takeaway and you go over and you hack, you're going to get the call. Slashing it is. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Though they haven't scored on the power play yet, man, it is a tough thing to do. And this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Taken along the wall by Shea. Here's a short pass to Bunting. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. The Islanders have it against the wall. Nice job to escape the zone. Now a quick pass to Ajo. And he takes the feed. And that's poked away by Pulak. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. Right up Main Street and on the attack. And it's a quick pass to Foss. Glove save. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Drew is ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Horvats won the draw here in their own zone. Bumped off the puck. And that's poked away by Drury. New York's looking to break out. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. They clear the zone. The Hurricanes take it from their own end with time running out on this man advantage. Here's a chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here's a chance. Long jam in front. That's broken up. And then got cut up in traffic and goes off the stick. Sazikas and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Barzell's almost out of the box. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Hurricanes' man advantage is over. 
Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even Chris passes and attacking seams. They gotta be better. Sensational stop by Sorokin! He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put a bottom. Turn that chance aside. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better. Wait a second, James. I believe there's gonna be a call right there. An infraction happens. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Well, this penalty is gonna be inconsequential, but I'll tell you, with every goal that the opponent has gotten, man, the energy has just been zapped out of this group. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Moves it to Stahl. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. From the open ice, they gain the line. Great poke check on the reach. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Carolina's won the face-off. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. New York's gained the line and into the zone. Here's a pass down low. Pomeri's the true sniper, James, and he's already got two in the game, and you know he's looking for his third. Stalls recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Carolina's got it in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. I don't think the PKers are going to be blocking any shots on this one, James. I know I wouldn't be. Just look at the score of this game. It's over. Puck set to drop. We've got some four-on-four -four coming up. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Carolina's lugging the puck behind their own net. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Foss got the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Burns. And that's off a stick. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. New York's all but got this thing wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. Centering B! Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Ajo's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Trying to get it out of danger. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Grabbed along the board by Faust. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. What an ugly game. You're down by a bunch of goals and you take a penalty. Really, it's inconsequential as the game is out of hand. So frustrating. A little more room out there with a little four on four. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Oh, and another save! Scooped up along the wall by Horvath. And he slides it quickly to Thompson and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Sends a pass over. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. 
Well, that penalty is going to seal the deal here, James, late in the third. There's no runway left to get back on the board. And they'll start with possession. Love save made by Martin. Puck sent over to Stahl. Into the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Orlov. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. And the puck skips away after that move. Ajo's tried a great move there. We all know with great hands he is in tight. He's trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and he lost possession. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. New York's offense came to play. Their defense showed up. Goaltending was solid. This was a complete team effort tonight, Cheryl. Sometimes winning is tough, James, and you can't explain it sometimes. But tonight, it looked easy. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski saying peace.